Well, how surprised are you to be in this position suddenly? Yes, yes, surprised. Um, obviously, the change with Wayne coming in and, and, uh, and taking the rain. Um, albeit, it, you know, the results haven't gone too well up lately, but I think we've got a really good reaction from the boys and uh, I think he, he did what he needed to do really well. So when were you doing an inkling that there was going to be another change and it was going to be you who took over? Uh, yesterday evening. Um, yesterday evening I had a chat with uh, the chairman and uh, he sort of spoke to me briefly and said um, he just explained in the direction he wanted the club to go. He asked me if I'd take, it, take charge for till the end of the season and I said yes. Um, and, um, there'll be someone coming in to, to help me with that. Did you have, you say you said yes, did you have to think about it though given the situation that the team is in and given obviously you got passed over last time and, and, and the form the team's in? No, you know, I, I've come to work for this football club at the beginning of the season. And, you know, I work for this football club. The same that happened at Watford. Didn't show up the challenge then and you know, we'll do it now. And fantastic group of players. And I know they've got a lot of, a lot of um, give. And they've got a lot of passion for the club. And, uh, you know, they'll keep fighting right until the end. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot, you know, big belief in, in the players and, and the football club. So, so for me, it was, it was the question that was asked. I didn't think too hard about it. I've, I've been working for the club since the beginning of the season, so um, I know what, what players we possess and, and how we can hurt them. Because the form had tailed off under Steve Ball, Wayne Brown came in, didn't really get the reaction that you normally get, do you, when, when you have a fresh face and a fresh pair of eyes on things? I think initially he came in, he, he, you know, it was a tough start away at Forest Green and then we got the win against Carlisle, which was good, and we, we wanted to try and build on that. Um, but you're right, we did, the results didn't go, go as well as we wanted. You'd say it's a good group of players, they, they want to work hard for this club, they are working hard for the club, doing everything they can, so can you put your finger on why it's not working, why it is just one win from 22? Sometimes when you get into a, into a bit of a, a bad run, you know, obviously the confidence is going to suffer, and, and, and football's a, a strange game, the boys are working hard, we were just talking about it there, and, and sometimes the harder you work, it's strange that, you know, the, the worse your luck gets sometimes, you know, when you relax and you're enjoying your game, you play better. Um, Maybe we've been a bit uptight, maybe we've been a little bit stressed of lately. Um, we know the position we're in and uh, we know that we need to get out. I was going to say to you, it's a difficult situation to relax in, isn't it? Yeah, but footballers, are, you know, they're, they're, they're on the field. You know, you need them to take the field with a certain amount of confidence. You need them to take the field and do what they do well to hurt the opposition. Um, it, you can't, you know, players can't take the field with everything going on in their head because they won't be able to adjust and, and play and I've been there you know and, and we need to set them up right and we need to get them in the right frame of mind and we need to get them on the pitch and, and, and working hard and, and really taking our threat and our game to teams As you know us as media and the fans you can't be in the ground at the moment but are watching and listening on we'll have scores coming elsewhere we'll be looking at what everybody else is doing yeah, that sort of thing you guys can't afford to be like that can you? No and that's the one thing that we don't really want to be looking at until the 90 minutes is over you know we need to concentrate on what we need to do on the pitch and get the results that we need to get and, and, and you know, that's all we can control we can only control our 90 minutes and uh, we're going to be looking to do that in the next in the running the chairman said there will be someone else coming in as, as a mentor someone to oversee things and, and help you out have you had any say in that do you know who it is um, I think at the moment it's kept a little bit quiet I think the club are obviously having ongoing discussions I'm, I'm aware I, I know what's going on it's just that we want to keep it private at the moment. because it has to be someone I guess who you feel you can work with yeah, yeah, and you know, obviously, you know, someone who comes in has, has got to put the club first, and, and I think they're going to do that. And you know, it's going to be a welcome addition. Hopefully, someone who knows the, the division really well and, and will be an asset to, to the football club.